Well, good morning, people. Uh, we're here at Elm Hill, Sinton Green in Worcestershire. Now, online, we do have a very good uh, video, choreographed video of this property with the equestrian estate and some lovely drone footage. But I thought, um, particularly with the pandemic in mind, where it's difficult to uh, really invite people to the home unless they've really got a good idea of what's involved, we'll do a little bit more of an informal uh, glimpse today at Elm Hill. I've got Catherine with me uh, who's joined us at Finding Country here in Worcestershire and if she hasn't been here it's an opportunity for us to show her around as well. Now I, over the last uh, few months I've been lucky enough to get to know how Elm Hill very well and this is one of my favorite spots here this bench literally faces uh, due south and i think it's worth reflecting like many of us have for those of you who are in urban areas and in london and perhaps feeling a little bit claustrophobic then uh, really coming to elm hill is the perfect antidote um, as an estate it's very pleasing because you have this lovely uh, house behind me which is a listed building very well maintained uh, set within uh, generous acreage which uh, surrounds the property so you have provided with a very high degree of privacy but uh, the house was cleverly built on a slight peninsula so as the ground drops away you've got views in almost every direction uh, so I think it'd be helpful if Alina just pans round and gives you a taste of what I, I'm able to look at from this bench. Well, uh, as Catherine is with us, what do you think of it so far, Catherine? So the views are amazing and I'm looking forward to going inside. Good, okay, well we'll have a look inside in a minute. Just to reassure you, we have got a, a lot of detail online about what is involved here at Elm Hill and of course the other video film you can watch with drone footage. But uh, I think I'm going to take Catherine and we're going to have a look inside. Now, there are a number of reception rooms here at Elm Hill, but really at the heart of the house in one of the main sitting rooms. I think this really characterises this property because it's a very generous house that has a very warm, homely feel to it and uh, abundance of features here. I've got an open fireplace behind me. As we pan round, you've got a window seating area overlooking the garden, a lovely picture window, again looking onto the gardens and the lavender outside. And as Helena pans around, you can see you've got this very unusual staircase. It's offset rather than being directly against a wall, as would be the norm with a house of this age. And of course, you've got access here to all of the other principal rooms. There are two more reception rooms accessed in front, and to the right of the camera, also the dining room. The kitchen really is lovely. You've got dining over there, and then centre with an island, an arga, and then a doorway through to a snug. Now this is actually the secondary staircase. A note here on the detail, this is beautifully finished in solid oak. 
You've got very high quality electrical and lighting fittings here as well. But so this is uh, uh, the rear end of the landing, secondary staircase, access to accommodation. And uh, Catherine, actually, if you'd be good enough, just open the door and you see there's a stairwell here to the second floor. So at the top floor here at Elm Hill, we have a private suite with a sitting room, separate bedroom, a lovely bathroom as well.